Thank you all very much. I very much appreciate it. We're here with a man who has become a friend of mine, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. And Mrs. Trudeau, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And uh, we are discussing many things, including NAFTA. Uh, but we have uh, discussions scheduled for quite a few subjects. And I think we both look very much forward. And I want to just tell you, Justin, it's a great honor to have you both with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great to be uh, back here in the Oval Office. As uh, the President said, a lot of things to discuss. Uh, we have an incredibly close relationship with two countries uh, that are interwoven in our economies, in our cultures, in our, in our, uh, in our peoples. Uh, but uh, we have uh, a, good, uh, a good partnership, and there's always ways to improve it, always issues we need to talk through, and that's why having a, uh, an ongoing constructive relationship uh, uh, between the President uh, and the Prime Minister is really important, and I'm glad to be able to uh, uh, meet with you here again today. Merci beaucoup. L'ambiance est bonne, Monsieur Trudeau? Toujours, toujours bien de se rencontrer avec des alliés et des amis. Mr. President, this We'll see what happens. We have a tough negotiation, and uh, it's something that you will know uh, in the not-too-distant future. But we are going to be discussing NAFTA, and we'll be discussing defense, because we have a great — I mean, these are truly great and original allies, and uh, mutual defense is very important. Uh, and I guess we'll also be dis discussing mutual offense, which people don't mention too often, but offense is part of defense. So uh, we have many things to talk about, but NAFTA will certainly be a big factor today. Okay? Do you want to the uh, nuclear option? No, I never discussed increasing it. I want it in perfect shape. That was just fake news by NBC, uh, which gives a lot of fake news lately. Uh, no, I never discussed. I think somebody said, I want 10 times the nuclear weapons that we have right now. Right now, we have so many nuclear weapons. I want them in perfect condition, perfect shape. That's the only thing I've ever discussed. Uh, General Mattis put out a statement, or is putting out a statement, saying that that was fake news, that it was just mentioned that way. And it's, frankly, disgusting the way the press is able to write whatever they want to write. And people should look into it. No, I want to have uh, absolutely perfectly maintained, which we are in the process of doing, uh, nuclear force. But when they said, I want 10 times what we have right now, uh, it's totally unnecessary, believe me. Because I know, I know what we have right now. You want no increase whatsoever, you're happy with it. We won't need an increase. But I want modernization, and I want total rehabilitation. It's got to be in tip-top shape. Mr. Brown, you said that NASA just needed some little tweaks. What changed? Well, I don't think anything <coughs> changed. We're negotiating a NAFTA deal. It's time after all of these years. And we'll see what happens. It's possible we won't be able to make a deal, and it's possible that we will. Uh, we have a great personal relationship, and we have a relationship now as, as two countries, I think, that's as close as ever. But we'll see if we can do the kind of changes that we need. We have to protect our workers, and in all fairness, the Prime Minister wants to protect Canada and his people also. So we'll see what happens with NAFTA. But I've been opposed to NAFTA for a long time in terms of the fairness of NAFTA. Uh, I said we'll renegotiate. And, I mean, I think Justin understands this. If we can't make a deal, it'll be terminated, and that'll be fun. They're going to do well, we're going to do well. But maybe that won't be necessary. But it has to be fair to both countries. Mr. President, do you think there should be limits on what the press should write? No, the press should speak more honestly. I mean, I've seen tremendously dishonest press. It's not even a question of distortion, uh, like the question that was just asked before about 10 times the nuclear capability. I know the capability that we have. Believe me, and it is awesome. It is massive. And so when they make up stories like that, that's just made up. And uh, the generals will tell you that. And then they have their sources that don't exist, in my opinion. They don't exist. Uh, they make up the sources. There are no sources. Uh, any other question? We'll decide over the next fairly short period of time, but I think it's going to work out very well for both countries and Mexico. You're going to see very soon. We're going to be announcing that very shortly. What? Oh, sure. Absolutely. It's possible we won't be able to reach a deal with one or the other. But 
In the meantime, we'll make a deal with one. But I think we have a chance to do something uh, very creative that's good for Canada, Mexico, and the United States. So do you want to see how, how would you survive? How would you launch with Secretary uh, Tillerson? Very good. Well, you mean last week? You John, you're so far behind the times. You mean yes. today or last week? Because today I didn't have lunch with him. Yes. No, I had, I had a lunch uh, uh, last week, and we had a very good lunch. We have a very good relationship. Uh, the press really doesn't understand that, but that's okay. We actually have a very good relationship. Are you going to what else? Uh, I think I have a little bit uh, uh, different attitude on North Korea than other people might have. And I listen to everybody, but ultimately, my attitude is the one that matters, isn't it? That's the way it works. That's the way the system is. But I think I might have a somewhat different attitude and a different way than other people. I think perhaps I feel stronger and tougher on that subject than other people. But I listen to everybody. And ultimately, I will do what's right for the United States and really what's right for the world, because that's really a world problem. That's beyond just the United States. That's a world problem. And it's a problem that has to be solved. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. If NAFTA doesn't work out, we can negotiate with both countries individually. If NAFTA, if NAFTA doesn't work out, can you see a deal with each individual country? Yes, I would see that, yes. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everybody.